Hello students, today we will learn about Tux Paint. Tux Paint is a paint program designed for children. It has many ready-made tools that help you to make beautiful drawings. Now let us understand how to start Tux Paint. Click on the start button, then go to Tux Paint, then go to Tux Paint full screen option. You will get the following window. Tools bar. It contains a variety of tools. Up and down arrows. Clicking on these arrows allows you to see more symbols. Drawing area or canvas. This space is used for drawing. Selector. It is also known as sub toolbox. Colors palette. It contains the colors. Help area. It gives you tips and details of the selected tool. Students, note that the selector contains two buttons on it. Up and down arrow buttons. Let us now talk on starting a new drawing. In Tux Paint, you can insert a ready-made drawing. Select the new tool from the tools bar. You will get the colored background and starters for a new drawing. Click on the down arrow button to see ready-made pictures and background. Select the drawing and double click on it. The picture appears on the drawing canvas. Ok, let us now find out how to color the drawing. Once you have inserted a ready-made drawing, you can fill colors in it. Select the magic tool in the tools bar. In the selector bar, click on the down arrow button and select the fill effect option. Select any color from the color box. Click on the object where you want to fill the color. Let us now talk paint tool. It is used to paint and draw anything that you like. It is similar to a brush tool in MS Paint. When you click on the paint tool, many brushes will appear in the selector. Choose any brush pattern and pick any color from the colors palette. The pointer shape changes to paint brush. Press the left mouse button and drag. The pattern will be drawn. Now release the mouse button. Students, let us discuss Lines tool now. Lines tool is used to draw straight lines and straight patterns. It works quite similar to the Paint tool. The Lines tool has the same brush shapes in the sub toolbox as in the Paint tool. Select the Lines tool. Choose any pattern from the sub toolbox. Drag the mouse to draw a straight line as shown in the given figure. Release the mouse button and you will see a straight pattern drawn in place of that line. If you draw an inclined line, you will find an inclined pattern. Now let's discuss how to erase drawing. The eraser tool is used to erase any unwanted part of the drawing. Click on the eraser tool in the tools bar. Select the size of eraser from the selector box. Press and hold down the left mouse button and start dragging the pointer on the drawing. Observe, the drawing will be erased. Okay, let's learn how to add text in drawing. Sometimes you may want to add text in your drawing. In Tux Paint, text tool is used to enter text in your drawing. To enter text in your canvas, select the text tool in the tools bar. Choose a font type from the letter selector. Move the pointer to canvas. The shape of pointer changes into a cursor. 
Click on the canvas and type the text you want to enter in your drawing. Now let me tell you how to insert stamp tool. A stamp is a sticker that you can paste on a piece of paper. Likewise, stamp tool in Tux Paint allows you to paste the ready-made pictures on your drawing canvas. Tux Paint has a lot of inbuilt stamps. Click on the stamp tool in the tools bar. Select any stamp from the selector. Move the pointer to the canvas. Click on the place where you want to paste the stamp. Ok, let us learn how to use Shapes tool. Tux Paint allows us to draw different shapes using the Shapes tool. The unique feature of this tool is rotation. A shape can be rotated to any angle on 360 degree scale. Let us draw some shapes. Click on the Shapes tool in the tools bar. You will see various filled and unfilled shapes in the selector. Select the fill square shape from the selector. Click and drag the mouse pointer on the canvas. Release the mouse button once you have completed the square. The outline of the square will be placed on the canvas with the rotation handle. Rotate the shape as per your need. Students know that there are 16 different shapes available in the sub toolbox of the shapes tool. Now let us learn about grass tool. It is used to draw grass in your canvas. Select the grass effect from the magic sub toolbox. Choose dark green color from the colors palette. Either click or drag the mouse pointer to draw grass on the canvas. An interesting fact to note is that the grass effect displays grass only in green color but with a tinge of the selected color. Simply clicking on the canvas creates thin grass effect and dragging creates thick grass effect. Ok, let us learn about flower tool. It is a tool using which you can draw flowers on the canvas. Let us draw a few flowers on our canvas. Select the flower tool from the selector. Choose red color from the colors palette. Bring the magic wand over the canvas and click to paste the flower. Students know that the number of times you click, the same color of flowers will be added on the canvas. Let me give you a tip. To apply faded effect on a picture, use the blur tool. Ok, now let me tell you how to save drawing. Click on the save tool from the toolbar to save the drawing. Alright, now let us learn how to close Tux Paint. Click on the quit tool. A box will appear. Click on yes button if you want to close. Click again on yes button if you want to save the file before closing. Let's learn how to open the drawing. Click on the Open tool. Select the drawing that you want to open.